Hey everybody, welcome back to a new Boopies TCG. Today I've got three parcels here with me. Three! I, uh, I've got a bunch of singles here with me for uh, some decks that I'm working on, cards that I still need it. So, uh, two, different sell oh, two different sellers, let's see what we have here, shall we? Open the first one up straight away, we've got a top loader in the back with nothing in there. And then a bunch of cards in sleeves. Alright, and one card that is actually in an sleeve as well. Alright, strange way of packing things, but sure, I guess. Let's see. We start off with a super rare reinforcement of the army. We've got a United We Stand. Oh, I love this card. So, so nice. With the uh, the black rare, which I always found a bit weird, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Moving on with Eternal Soul. Yeah, for my Dark Magician deck. Uh, look at that artwork though, it's so dark though, very hard to pick up decently, but very, very nice though, very, very nice. Then we continue with the A-Forces, which is from a very old set, LOD, which is Labyrinth of Nightmares. So this is a card that has been out for so, so long, and this is a rare as well. They have been reprinted as a um, as a common, but uh, hey, I wanted the rare one, because I already had two, but I needed three, so here we go. Yeah, old card though, very old card. It's pretty damn neat. Then we carry on with, oh, Harpy Spat Phantasmal Dragon. For my Harpy deck, XYZ card. Yeah, look at that. From Mago, which is the, um, the, 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 the gold set, what's it called? I forgot, I forgot the name. Screw it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We got it. We carry on with, oh, Mage Power, also from that same set. Look at that mage power. Yeah, yeah, we've got another one coming up, so I did not uh, solve it well, it seems. Yeah, mage power. I actually have a mage power, but it's um, from the, the set it was released from, I think. But it's a very crappy condition, so I thought I'd pick this one up. Very nice. We've got a Princess of Tsurugi as a rare from MRD, which is the Metal Raiders set. So also a very old set, and this one is in a great condition, though. It looks beautiful. Uh, again, I've got three of them, but uh, not in the best condition, so this one is more than welcome. We have, oh, we've got two Jinzos, I think. Yes, there we go, two Jinzo, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I love Jinzo, so damn cool. I kind of want to build a, a Jinzo deck, but um, I want Jinzos as ultra rares, but the actual... You know, they're actually pretty damn expensive or pricey, but I managed to find these... Uh, from this set, they're actually pretty damn cheap, so I managed to buy two of them. This one has uh, quite some wear on it, though. Moving on to the second little sleeve with cards. Let's see, yeah, we've got another Mage Ball from the same set, so it's the exact same card that we just saw. Now uh, we've got uh, Reinforcements of the Army's Troops. There we go. <laughs> funny, funny card. Continuous spell. We've got Court of... Oh, yeah, I forgot like, all of these. Uh, Court of Cards. From uh, King's Court. <laughs> We've got Face God Fusion, alright. We have <laughs> Joker's Wild, Magnus Induction, ha. Oh. oh, here we go. Blue Flame Swordsman, yeah. From the Legendary Collection. Very nice. And Harpy's Pet Dragon from LDS2, which is Legendary Duelist Season 2. Which I opened an entire box off. I, I pulled the Harpy's as well, Harpy's Pet Dragon, as a, uh, as a purple one. But I don't really like the colored names, to be honest. But anyways, yeah, I, I bought these cards, which are, which are from the King's Gold set, which I opened a box of not too long ago. And in that box, I I barely pulled anything Joker-related or Magnet-related. All the support cards that I needed, I didn't get any of them, except one Joker's Wild and one Face Gold Fusion, I think. So I ordered some singles and thinking, hmm, you know what, I've got three more boxes coming, which I opened on the stream not too long ago, but I thought, seeing as I pulled none of these, and barely any of these, you know, I'll just get some extras. Yeah, you know what happened? I opened the, the fucking boxes, I got seven of these bastards now, so that's great, I got a bunch of these, and a bunch of these. So, nice. Moving on, moving on. I'll put the cards aside. We have another little parcel here, um, which is 
Uh, I'm glad they're all sleeved because yeah, there's a lot of cards in one top loader. I, I do not recommend doing that. Oh, there's tape on here. Wait. You have a knife with me? Something? Hang on. Ha ha! I found a hobby knife. All right. So let's see. Let's open this one up, shall we? Gonna be careful. There we go. Oh, it's honestly just... It's like a gaping hole. It's like a gaping anus after being fisted. I start a magnet deck as well, the magnet warriors, and I really like them, though I only had a couple of cards of them. So I thought we'll get some extras. Here they are. I've got uh, two Gamma the Electro Magnet Warrior. Very nice. These are from uh, side deck Yugi Moto, or structure deck Yugi Moto, whatever. And I actually opened that one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a long time, but I think I opened that one. But there is one of each in there, and it's out of print, and that's the only set that actually has these cards, so they can get a bit expensive. However, I managed to get these very, very cheaply. So I've got three of each now. We've got two Alpha the Electromagnet Warrior. And then we have... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I think I got one Beta. Yeah, I've got one Beta the Electromagnet Warrior, and I also got... Whoosh, beta the Magnet Warrior. Ooh. This one has seen a lot of better days, but I bought this one because it's from the DOR set, which is a promo set, Duelist uh, of the Roses, which is actually a play PlayStation 2 game that I'm also playing on my main channel, on a gaming channel. Uh, however, I got a bit of a pause, but I will continue with it soon. And uh, yeah, it, it's cool, because I got that game secondhand, so I never got the cards. And the person that sold all of these... He had this one, so I thought, yeah, you know, I still need it for the same magnet deck. And even though it's a bit damaged, um, you know, it's still a nice little nice little thing in that secret rare. It looks pretty cool. And, you know, if you sleeve it up, I think it will look pretty decent still. So that's pretty cool, though. That is pretty damn cool. And now we're down to the last pack, which is uh, a couple of single cards, I believe. Yeah, there's definitely more cards in here. So, yeah, you bought, you got, uh, bought a couple of more cards from the person. Uh, we've got, for instance... Oh! We've got uh, Twin Twisters from the LEHD set. I'm not quite sure which one that is, but uh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice card. Quick play as well. We've got Valkyrie Brunhild from uh, the Shadows in Van the Valhalla, which I actually opened as well, trying to pull this one, but I never did. So, it's very nice uh, to actually have one now. Yeah, I want to start a Valkyrie deck. They are so damn cool. I love them. And then I think we have... Yeah, there we go. We've got Amazon's Swordswoman. A card that also has a limited print. And very hard to find. But the person that I got all these cards for... Um, he actually sold all of them very, very cheap. So uh, I was very glad to uh, come across this. And this one, uh, yeah, looks pretty decent still. That's, yeah, it's got a couple of marks here and there, but the surface itself is still pretty damn clean, so... Very nice, very, very nice to have. And then, ladies and gents, we're down to the main attraction of this video, in this brown little package, and you can already guess what's inside, because it says PSA on the front there, because, indeed, there is two PSA slabs in here. So, uh, let's see. Get this open. Here we go. I want to see where the back is. This is the back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So two PSA slaps, and you can have a look at the back first. You can already tell, maybe if you're familiar with them, the backs they're not the English cards. This is a Japanese card. This is an Asian English card. More on that in a moment. So. We'll start with this one. Not too long ago, I made a video where I bought a collection of PSA 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And there was one card in that set that I was missing to complete it. And in the video I mentioned, don't worry, it's actually on its way as we speak. Well, here it is. And the person sold something else, which obviously I also bought. So, um, but this one right here, let's have a look. Boom! Yeah, there we go. Shiba Warrior Taro. Yeah, that, that's that's nice. That is nice. Uh, PSA 10 as well, yeah. Lovely. 
So again, this is from the anniversary pack um, from when Yu-Gi-Oh! was existed for 10 years. But I talk more about that on the other video, so be sure to check that one out if you want a bit more background information on the set. But uh, yeah, this means that now my set is complete and I'm, I'm very happy with that. So that is that is very nice. And like I said, there was one more card that uh, I just came across that he also sold. I was like, yeah, you know, why the hell not? And that, ladies and gents... Boom! Is the end of Anubis from the Ancient Sanctuary set. Which, again, is Asian English. So, back in the time when, uh, you know, the very first few sets, from what I know, Yu-Gi-Oh! also printed, like, cards in Asian English. Meaning that, well, they are in English, but they were distributed to Asian countries. And finding, actually, a sealed box or pack is a bit harder, because they're not actually Japanese packs. Um, because, obviously, well, they are in, in, in English, but only produced in the Asian countries, so very interesting little piece. And I came across this one as well, you know what, if I don't know, it's a pretty damn cool card, and I know that uh, my friends will be very jealous of this one, because they've told me that when they started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day, when, uh, you know, when we were all kids, and I didn't know him yet, one of them had this card, and they, they completely misunderstood the effect, and like, they used this one as their most powerful card, so whoever got this kind of one in their eyes. So I think uh, I think they will enjoy this one very much when they see it. So um, Tim, Thorne, this one is for you boys. I hope you enjoy it. However, it's just a uh, it's just a PSA 7, but you know, first edition as well. And uh, I think it's just a very cool car to have. And it barely cost me anything, to be honest. So why the hell not? Why the hell not? So there we go, ladies and gents. That will be it for today. I've got some nice cards to uh, reinforce my deck with. Got some more slaps. My set of PSA 10s is complete of the anniversary pack. And, uh, you know, what more can you dream for? What more can you dream for? So thank you all so much for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Let me know which of these was your favorite card. Do you have anything special coming in the mail? And uh, we will see each other in a next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.